Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, today we're talking about my Bottega Veneta bags and I think you guys are probably expect this to come mainly to compare the new small mini pouch that I've received compared to the mini Jody bag because these two are fairly similar in size. They are both on the mini side of the the bags and I just want to do a quick comparison to show like the differences which one I would recommend and what it can hold and things like that and you guys know I also have uh, my oldest Bottega bag which is this um, original pouch bag uh, it's in the smooth leather it's not the intrinsiato version and this new small one is also in the smooth leather version as well just to also show you guys quickly uh, this is the newer version of their dust bag, so it's kind of in this cream white color with the green print on it. This is slightly newer. For my original pouch bag, it actually came with this darker brown color, lightish brown, with much smaller text on it. I personally prefer this older version just because then it's more prone to dust and things like that, but um, the new one is slightly thicker. And the inside material is a bit different. This is a little bit more raw and cottony, and this is the same like inside and outside. It's like soft cotton. So equally nice, but if I have to pick, I probably would prefer this older one just because um, you know it doesn't get dirty as easy. Okay, so now on to the bags themselves. Uh, I'll just do a quick introduction of all three of them and then if you want a little bit more detail, you can always check out my original unboxing and my review videos. Um, so this is my very first one. I got it probably like a year ago, if not a year and a half ago. And I love this bag so much. I know most people say this is impractical and it's only for pictures and whatnot, but I still love it. For whatever reason, I just like carrying this bag and it does hold a lot. So whenever I need to like carry my water bottles and my like papers and anything that's a little larger if I need to carry a little extra cardigan or a scarf or anything like that this is my go-to bag because I don't have a lot of big bag to start with and this one definitely carries like a lot and I just like the look of this as a clutch I know it's not super convenient because it doesn't have a strap or even a top handle or anything like that so you constantly have to carry like this or holding it in your hand like this and even this hold is not super ergonomic or super comfortable to your hand for a longer term especially if it's heavy so I don't carry like this sometimes I do but most of the time I really just carry like this um, I don't know I still like it I still I don't mind it I love the soft leather I love the fact it's shapeless and you kind of just like put whatever inside um, yeah like it's true it's not the most practical bag but I I like it I don't regret my decision whatsoever and I actually do use it like believe it or not like uh, fairly regularly these days especially this summer uh, it's kind of my go-to bag this summer so um, I love their product I just love the uniqueness of it and another thing because it's in this very tan neutral color goes with pretty much everything I own so I kind of don't have to think about it I just keep using this bag it doesn't seem to like clash with any of my outfits so for that reason I do use it a lot this summer this is my second edition which hasn't it wasn't that long ago maybe like three months ago now I think and since I got it I use it quite a bit um, and I kind of switched to the bigger bag because there was one time I had to carry more stuff and I just never switched to anything else um, I have to say I'll do a little bit more in-depth review on this later on but based on my kind of preliminary use of this, I rarely zip it up. Like I, I have to be honest, I almost never use a zipper. Not that it's hard, but I kind of just don't bother because it seems to close fine just as is. Nothing sticks out or anything like that. I'll show you guys what it holds for sure. But you know, it, it's fine as is. And I just find it easy to grab and hold like the top handle. You can see, I do find eventually it's gonna damage this part of the leather because you kind of constantly use your oily like the oil on the hand will like constantly be touching this part I wonder if this part of leather gonna look different compared to the others other area on the bag but it is more structured obviously compared to this one because it's smaller 
And the top handle is fairly convenient in my opinion because it is large enough to still put my arm through. So if ever I really need to be hands-free, it does work. Again, not the most practical bag by any means because it doesn't have a strap or you can't put it on your shoulder or crossbody or anything like that. But in my opinion, it's, it's an easy grab and go. It's quite compact and actually holds all my essentials. So um, I think in terms of capacity, you know, the look, the design, I really love it. Um, my only thing with this bag, as you guys know, is not in the most neutral color. So sometimes I do have to coordinate my outfit with this bag a little bit, but I do have a lot of blue and green and, you know, like neutral color tones that I, um, that I like to pair with this uh, bag particularly. So I really love it. I got it for an amazing price, so I don't have any regrets on this one. So um, I've used it quite a bit, but once I have a chance to use more, I'll give you guys a bit more detail and on my overall thoughts about this bag. And then, obviously, this one is my newest addition to my Bottega collection, and it is in this very dark grape color, so it's like a, in a very dark purple color. And oh, if you guys want to know the actual like color code, this is called the grape color, and this is the Millard color. Uh, I think this, I believe it was just tan. I can't recall like tan or caramel color, but this is one of their kind of classic color. I think they still release it like season after season. So uh, you can probably still find this one. I think this is probably one of the most common one when you look up pouches, like the Take of an Adder pouch. I feel like this color is probably one of the most searched one. Um, but yeah, like I do think it's a neutral color. I like the fact that they all have different colors. So this one in some darker lighting definitely look almost like a black bag, but in good lighting, like I think right now you guys can tell it is like a purple, dark purple color. And it comes with this uh, very skinny strap. Now I have to be super honest because I do not like the crossbody look on this little pouch. I just find it, I don't know what it is. Like I know it's super convenient, don't get me wrong, because I do find, like I will use it this way myself just because it, it is super practical and convenient. You can open the bag easily at this whatever length you want to adjust to. It's a very easy adjustable length. There are many different methods that you can find online on how to adjust the strap. So it's very easy to maneuver and the closure is very convenient. You can set to whatever length you like and then it's very easy to get things in and out of the bag in comparison to the Mini Jodi. Mini Jodi is a little bit tricky because the opening is a bit hidden and it does take a little bit more effort to dig things out versus this one, it's really straightforward. Except it doesn't hold as much. I'll show you guys more in detail, but it doesn't hold as much and also um, your phone and larger items don't get in as easy. You have to put in a certain angle to get it in versus uh, the Jodi, it's a bit easier in my opinion. But again, they're both mini bags, so not intended to be carrying large items in any case. So, okay. And so as I was saying, I'm not a huge fan of this as a crossbody. Um, I love it because I do see people holding it like on the strap like this, you know, or just as a clutch again. It's almost like a really cute evening bag, but it retains the design of the pouch slouchiness and things like that, which I love. Anyways, I also got this one for a really good deal, so I figured I'll just go for it. And uh, yeah, I mean, if I have to take a picture, I don't have to use it crossbody. I might not, like, that does affect how much I love the bag, I find, even though, you know, I'm saying that, but the strap will always be on there. Um, anyways, like I said, I'm still not a huge fan of how it looks like crossbody on me. So you guys can tell me if, you know, maybe eventually it will grow on me. But so far, like I said, I like it as a clutch hold for this bag. Okay, so let's start with my newest one to see how much it can hold. I've already done a very quick like test, but let's try it here. I have a bunch of stuff laid out. First of all, I have a Nate phone, which is the same size as a tan. So this can go in, but like I said, if you try to put it in like this, it doesn't see, like it won't fit. Like if you just want to throw it into the pouch, it won't work. You have to kind of like go bypass the side and then push it in to the bottom and it can like sit flat at the bottom of the bag pretty well. 
So I think that's how, and it can really hold even a larger phone if you wish, but you do have to tilt it in a certain way and put it in. And then also because it's at the bottom of the bag, it's a bit tricky to dig it out when you need it, when you have other stuff on top. So again, in terms of practicality, might not be the best because you know, you don't want to be digging for your phone after you're taking up everything else. But anyway, so let's see what else can hold. So the phone is an essential, your key pouch, so your keys, whatever you want, that goes on top. I guess your hand sanitizer nowadays, you probably want to carry that with you. And then in addition to that, I do like to bring my floss with me. And um, let's bring the card holder, obviously a wallet, whatever you want. Um, and then a mask. Okay, so let's see. All that is okay. It's getting pretty stuffed, but it's okay. And then I can probably still squeeze in a little pain killer. Okay, it's getting there. And then like I said, now let's say I need my phone. It's gonna be very tricky to dig it up which is fine, I can take it back, but it's gonna be hard, tricky again for me to try to put it back in. It's doable, I think with some practice and you know, play with, playing with a bag, it would work. And then maybe I can still squeeze in a, um, a hand cream. Let's see if this close. It does close, pretty, pretty uh, impressive for a tiny little pouch for sure. Let's see if we can still squeeze anything else in here. Maybe a piece of chocolate and a pen. I would very caution anyone to try to put pen in their bags. Make sure you know you, there's somehow a leak proof mechanism. I normally don't, but this is just for show. It does work. So now I, I've got everything in here. I will not be able to squeeze this wallet in here, but let's try with the uh, Mi Jody and see if it works. That is quite impressive. Let me see if I wear this. I mean, because it's a pouch, it really doesn't affect the shape or anything like that. But like I said, now if I say, well, it's almost not closing because it's so full. It is a magnetic closure, so I feel like if you stuff it too full, it will you will run at risk of having the bag open. And like I said, it's so full, and now if my phone rings, I cannot get it out very easily. So that's not like a realistic way of uh, of really, um, I'll just take out some of the card, of using this bag. So anyways, oh, okay. So okay, let's just take, take out everything I just stuffed in here to show you guys what's in there. The card holder painkiller, the phone, a mask, substitute, it's just a dust bag, chocolate, pen, key holder, it's empty but it's a key holder, pretty big size sanitizer, you probably have smaller ones that you can use, a floss, a hand cream, and that's all. I would say it's still quite impressive. It's more than I expected, but uh, again, not a lot of item, as you can tell, it's a mini bag. Okay, let's try it with the mini Jody. So far, I have to say, normally when I use a Jody, I have my phone, I have the sanitizer, and I will put in my card holder, and my key pouch or just the keys in there and that's all I normally would bring and it's totally workable. It, it kind of feels like a really nice weight. It works really well. I love, I love how it can carry all these things easily. And then, and I also like that it's really kind of more organized because it's all kind of in this angle. So I can open and I can see which item I need and get out easy as opposed to I think with this one it's less because it's more really everything on top of each other. Whereas this one, like I said, there is a way you can sort of organize it um, and see the items better. So that's it. And I guess next we'll do a hand cream, a floss. We can put those smaller items on the side of the bag. 
a pain killer, paddle size, and a chocolate, a pen, a pretend mask. Okay, so that's all I had in the couch, and that's also totally fine with some room to spare, not by a whole lot. That's kind of surprising. I actually thought it would be more than the pouch, but it's really not that much more. I'll put in the card holder as well. Yep, so that still works okay. Yep, it can definitely hold more than the pouch, but not by a whole lot. You can squeeze in maybe two two more items and it still zip up nicely. The shape stays on nicely. Yeah, it's quite good actually. I've never stuffed it this much, but even if I do now, I think it holds quite well together. Yeah, and it's really secure with the zipper on. No issue whatsoever versus this is a magnetic, so it does, it could open easily resist this one and let's try if I need to get my phone out right now it's fairly easy so I do say in terms of capacity and usability I do like I do prefer the Jody better I have to say um, like I said because overall I'm just not a huge fan of the crossbody look then you end up having to carry like in your hand versus this one it's a top handle like that's the main way of you carrying this bag or you can do it as a clutch as well but I use a top handle and I quite like it that way. So I think if I have to pick between the two, I also would prefer if this mini pouch is in the Intrinciato pattern, but I didn't need two of them, I guess. Um, but if I have to pick one like to recommend, I would still recommend the Jody between the two mini bags. Um, yeah, it holds a little bit more and it's just, um, I don't know, I feel like the overall design, everything is slightly better in comparison to the mini pouch. Let me know if you agree or disagree, but um, again, I have not actually had a fair chance of using this, so it might not be fair for me to judge right away. Um, but so far, just based on my first, very first preliminary impression, I would say the mini Jody is more for my style. Um, yeah, okay, so let's quickly go through again what it is, what it contained in here. So a pen, the card holder, the hand cream, the travel size floss, chocolate, key pouch, card holder, pretty big sanitizer, hand sanitizer, a mask, uh, pain killer, and that is everything. All the bags are, oh, and the phone, obviously. All the Tena, at least all these ones that I've purchased, they're all full 100% leather, which I love. So it's like leather inside and out. Um, the inside leather feels a slightly different than the outside leather, but essentially it's it's both very creamy and very soft, very, very luxurious. Um, same thing everywhere here. In terms of print, so they all come with like a stamped logo like this. Um, very subtle, no major hardware or anything like that. And their little uh, ticket all look very raw because they all has like little edge on the side. These are some of the ways to authenticate your bag. So it all had like a little, it's like a piece of paper. I don't know what happens if it gets wet. It does say originality certificate with a code on it. So I do think it has linked to authenticity of the bag. There are tons of counterfeit Bottega bag as well out there just because there's no like obvious logo. The technique is fairly easy to be replicated. And these things are very high. I would say they're quite overpriced for what they are, but Again, it is like a trend. You either love the brand or hate the brand. A lot of people, they are probably like me, right? You're influenced and you got into the brand and then you just like buy them. They do have discount uh, from their 
uh, main store so they're they, they often online or in their stores they will have like 30 percent discount 30 to 60 percent even but on third-party websites such as essence or s21 uh, 20, 24s often have amazing prices on these bags so do watch out for those websites if you want to snag one of these these bags uh, what else can I tell you guys yeah I love all three I'm looking forward to be using this one more um, but right now my favorite is still my big dumpling pouch um, there are different names for these things you were, people call them dumpling bags people call them cloud bags but for what it is it's quite simple easy to use and yeah it's just uh i just feel like it kind of works with all the outfit and it's just my mood these days that's kind of what i'm into these days so all right i hope this is helpful for you guys and if you have any questions or comment please let me know down below like i said i will really try to start posting a bit more frequently but um i'm hoping i could do that in the fall starting in september because that's when my daughter will actually start daycare um so i'm looking forward to that so hopefully i'll talk to you guys soon bye